Greetings and welcome back to room 303 and Senior English. And we now turn to our study of Macbeth. I'm with you on page 258-259 and uh, the tragedy of Macbeth Act 1. I want to point out for each one of the um, acts, all five acts, you're going to have this concept vocabulary that you're going to want to be paying attention to. We do have a bit of background information here. Notice on 258, one more time, some information about Shakespeare. Because of his deep understanding of human nature, his compassion for all types of people, and the power and beauty of his language, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the greatest, of, of one of the English language's greatest writers. Nearly 400 years after his death, Shakespeare's plays continue to be read widely and produced throughout the world. They have the same powerful impact on today's audiences as they had when they were first staged. And we're, we're obviously going to study Macbeth. And my hope, and I've given guided lectures for you for all of the lines of Macbeth, I hope that this will become true for you as well. Let's do some background information real quickly on 259. By Shakespeare's time, the, uh, fact and legend, by Shakespeare's time, the story of the 11th century Scottish King Macbeth was a mixture of fact and legend. Shakespeare and his contemporaries, however, probably regarded the account of Macbeth in Raphael's Hollandshed's Chronicles of England, Scotland, and Ireland as completely factual. The playwright drew on the chronicles as a source for the play, however, he also freely adapted the material for his own purposes. And now let's talk a little bit about Hollandshed's Chronicles. Hollandshed's account contains a description of a meeting between Macbeth and the witches. His account also tells how Macbeth and his friends, angry at the naming of King Duncan's son Malcolm as Prince of Cumberland, ambush and slay Duncan. However, the historical Macbeth's claim to the throne has some legitimacy. Finally, Hollandshed indicates that Banquio is Macbeth's accomplice in the, assa in the assassination. Lady Macbeth, prominent in Shakespeare's play, does not play a significant role in Hollandshed. Not in Shakespeare's Macbeth. Shakespeare took what he needed from the Chronicles and shaped it into a tragic plot, seeing the theatrical possibilities of the meeting with the witches. Shakespeare staged such an encounter in Act 1, Scene 3. However, he changed Hollinshed's account in order to make King Duncan an innocent victim. Shakespeare's Macbeth does not have a legitimate claim to the throne. Further, Shakespeare used another story in the Chronicles, one in which a wife urges her husband to kill a friend and guest as the basis for the character Lady Macbeth. She becomes Macbeth's co-conspirator, replacing Banquio. Shakespeare, of course, had political motives for holding Banquio innocent. Banquio was considered the ancestor of the new king, James I, and we'll get into that discussion later. Well, let's now turn to an actual study of the play Macbeth. Thank you.